This is Palm Beach Live Work Play. I'm Tim Bird, the Birdman. Today, we're at the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office with Sheriff Rick Bradshaw. Sheriff, it's good to see you again. My pleasure. Always, always glad to have you on with us. Uh, the topic of medical marijuana seems to be the hottest topic in South Florida. Uh, right now, a couple of states have uh, legalized that. Uh, the topic of medical marijuana seems to be uh, the very top of the conversation list. And uh, I guess it's going to be on a bill to be voted on. So right now, it's very important for us to get the right information, the correct information, in the ears and eyes of uh, the people of South Florida. Yeah, th this is an important decision for the voters to make. So they need to have all the information. And I'm, and I'm not saying that the information I'm going to give you is exactly the way that people should vote. But they need to have the entire story. Yes. Right now, and I understand how people are sympathetic, because I am too. I'm for anything that's going to help somebody that's sick or ill, that can make them feel better. I'm all for that. Right. But we have to understand the unintended consequences of something like when we're talking about a drug named marijuana, yeah. because there's a lot of things it can be used for. Now, the, big, the main thing I want to tell you is this. The American Medical Association, National Cancer Institute, and the American Society for Prevention of Cancer have all come out and said, smoked marijuana has no medical value. And I emphasize the word smoked, inhaled a cigarette. There is a strain of marijuana that can be reduced to take the properties out of it, a particular strain. If you were to smoke it, it doesn't get you high, but it has properties that can help you reduce convulsions, pain, some ailments. But it can be taken in a pill form. It doesn't have to be smoked. So that's why the medical professionals are saying there's no real value other than getting high to the smoked marijuana. That's why the Attorney General tried to keep this particular bill off the, the ballot because it's too general in the type of marijuana that can be supplied and the fact that a doctor can prescribe it, actually give you a permit, not a prescription, right. for just about any type of marijuana there is other than the one particular strain. So there's a danger here that when we start giving out these permits for people that will come in, sit down with a person that's a doctor, say, I got a little pain, and the doctor says, well, sure, here's a permit, you can go get some marijuana, where is that going to go to? Oh. You know, we experienced the last two and a half years getting rid of pill mills, yeah. where doctors, unscrupulous ones, and believe me, there's a, there's a vast majority of doctors that are fantastic, yeah. but that segment that did the pill mills were prescribing Oxycontin to people for, for hardly anything at all, and the majority of that was going out on the street and being sold. And of course, we all know that OxyContin uh, mirrors heroin. Well, yeah, and, and, and in some cases, even more addictive and, and, and even worse. Yes. So our biggest fear here is once these, quote, clinics, marijuana distributing places get open, that people are going to go in there with these permits to get this marijuana, and they're going to go out and sell it again to the people that are on the street, i.e., our kids. Now. There's 20 states right now that have either legalized or have prescription marijuana. 15 of those states have already seen 50% rise in the number of teens using marijuana, and they're the highest states for people that are involved in driving while drugged. So there's already an increase in that. You can go to California, there's little booths with people sitting in them. You go by and the guy says, hey, for 50 bucks, I'll give you a permit to get some marijuana if you don't feel good. I mean, you know, we don't want to go down that road when we can really tightly monitor a particular strain, put it into a pill form, and get people the help they need. Sure. But to just say we can, you know, you can smoke marijuana and it's going to help you do all these different things, that's really, really not exactly what it is. And I think that down the road here, we're going to regret going down this path. When a, when a uh, sheriff pulls somebody over uh, for, for suspicious, uh, suspicious reasons, mm -hmm. is there are there things that they're trained to look for for somebody who's drugged? Well, it's pretty much similar to driving while impaired yeah. in, under any substance. Right. But, you know, sometimes you can smell it coming out of the car. And, you know, you, whether you have a, a permit to have this marijuana certainly doesn't give you the right to drive impaired no matter what, whether it's drugs, whether it's liquor or whatever it is. So that's still going to be a problem for people that are out there. And if you get stopped and you got marijuana on you and you don't have this permit, it's too bad. You, you know, you're going you're gonna to be arrested for the quantity you have on there, and you may have to, you know, provide this permit some other time. Yeah. Sheriff, we'll wrap this up, uh, and I want you to wrap it up before we uh, say goodbye. 
Uh, so the bottom line in, in two sentences is? I think this form that the bill is in is not a really good form for it to be in. There is some value to a particular type, but I think this particular bill opens the door for some very unintended consequences. Well, there you have it. Straight from Sheriff Rick Bradshaw. And it's the medical marijuana issue that we're talking about. And it will be on a bill uh, most likely in August. I believe that's when the yeah, governor's I, I election think, I is. I think it is, yes. yes. So uh, we'll keep our eyes and ears open. Sheriff Rick Bradshaw, thank you so much. Thank you very much. You've been watching Up Close and Personal with Sheriff Rick Bradshaw on Palm Beach Live, Work, Play.